Yeah, but we up, we up and going, we up and going. Matter of fact, say what you want at, let me see what it's looking like. It's lock here. Okay, yeah, yeah, we good. We just want to start off by saying, Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwakash. Double honors to our apostles and to our elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. We just want to say, Tawada to our Yukakim and Akwa, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of your ability. Shachanan. You come out and let our people know, you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, that you are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the scriptures, history, the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, and just, you know, the Lord showing us who we are, man. He's, he's waking us up in his last days, letting us know that we are in the last days. And that's one of the last days prophecies that he will wake us up. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have to repent. That's the reason why we're doing the videos that we do, the lessons that we do. We come out on the highways and byways. And actually, we, you know, we're putting our lives on the line to be out here because people are crazy as hell. <laughs> you know? And this is not a not the same. It's an enjoyable task. I will say it's enjoyable to come out and let our people know what's up. But it's it, you know, hey, this thing can be dangerous. So we doing this out of love to let you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know to repent. And you can't repent unless you know who you're repenting to, which is the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists with the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. So now, a um, few things going on. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on, going on out here in the world. We do understand that um, one of the major, major prophecies that's jumping off right now is that MOTB, we call it the MOTB just for the sake of um, algorithms or whatever, but mark of the beauty and the beast, we'll put it like that. Because these people, the so-called white man, which his biblical name is Esau, he wants to actually chip you, man. This man wants to put something in you and, and keep damn account of your ass all day long, man. And that turns you into a perpetual slave. That, that digital all. You see? Because we did have a custom where, you know, our custom was, you know, it, it was a, a, a you, you would serve your brother for, I think, it's six years, and then within the seventh year, he sent you out with some substance, you know, and we weren't, we, we wasn't to um, work our brothers with rigor. See, that's what the so-called white man does. You know, when he, when he had us in slavery deep, you know, in our hardcore slavery, he worked us with rigor, man, like the Egyptians. Worked you to the point of you just not being able to sleep. You know? You know, <laughs> you know you worked hard as hell, man, when you just you're sleepless, man. Or you was worked so hard, you just you 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 falling asleep while you get while you eating, man. This man done a lot of treachery to us. But again, one of the last major prophecies is this this MOTB and we have to be on point and alert with war. But I was just watching the brother, um, he had the, uh, the title of the movie up. Oh yeah, it's called Sound of Freedom. You know how they doing all this trafficking with these children? And see Esau, matter of fact, let's get on um, 2 Corinthians 20, 11. Cause Esau, what he'll do is, he'll make it seem like, you know, able to, you know, to track down your child let us let us put this chip in them. We can locate them. Let us put this locator in them. You know, elderly people are walking away with Alzheimer's and all these different things, dementia. We can put a chip in them. If they walk away from the nursing home or get lost at the house or they just walked about, we can we can we can just go on the computer and locate them. So they're gonna try and make it seem as if these things are beneficial to you. But actually in reality, this man wants to perpetually enslave you. Go ahead, I. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11 Please Satan should get an advantage of us For we are not ignorant of his devices See, We're not ignorant of how this man gets down Because Esau, see the thing about Esau Once you come in this truth You can pretty much see this guy is lame as hell He's really very basic That's why the scripture talks about the basis of men 
He's real basic when it comes to certain shit, but you know what? He won't change up his playbook because it worked. It works on Negroes, man. This man been using the same playbook, but when you come into this truth, the Lord is going to show you this man is the damn enemy and he's only can do what he can do. And, and that's be wicked. That's what he was created for. And he used the same playbook every single time. Hey, we're here to help you. We love you. Equality. They get to giving you these buzzwords. That's what you got to listen to that scripture right, right there. Matter of fact, let's get on the Apocrypha um, Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. You got to beware of this man. That, that's a commandment from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's side to actually beware of this man. Don't get caught up, man, in, in thinking that this man is going to do you any type of good. He's not built that way. You hear? I, okay, we can, we can go ahead. I'm still going to uh, you can go ahead if you want. Sirach, so 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So the scripture, this is a, a, a commandment. This is a, uh, this is like your parents telling you don't 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 talk with strangers. Don't take candy or chips or snacks or anything from strangers. Because if you do, you can be snatched up. And as parents, you're supposed to be teaching your kids anyway. You know, I mean, when we was growing up, which is a damn shame, you shouldn't have to tell your children because when we go into the kingdom, our kids are going to be safe. It's not going to be no no snatching up of kids, man. But I mean, we're living in a day and time in society where the so-called white man, his wickedness is full blown. So you have to be aware and teach your children. Matter of fact, you're supposed to teach them about these scriptures. And that's a, that's the number one problem with our people. That's the number one problem with our people, man. You can ask, gr granddad don't know the scriptures, grandmama don't know the scriptures, mama, daddy don't know the scriptures. So of course you don't know the scriptures as a, as a, as a child. You're not going to teach them to your children, so the cycle continues. Now you are here just in, in, in complete wickedness, man. When the Lord gave us a blueprint as to how to live. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, though, I'll put that next one. Verse 11, though he humble himself and go crouching. That's what he's doing right now. He's humbling himself and he's, he's going crouching, talking as if he loves you. Well, all we have to do is, is just chip your child and we can locate him. This is the type of stuff that they're going to be doing. And they're going to be, I just was looking at, um, matter of fact, I would play it back. I was just listening to the brothers down at GMS uh, Birmingham. He does these, um, these MOTB clips, basically. Little short six, five, six minute clips. And they showing you what the so-called white man is trying to do. They showing you that this man is going into a digital age with the money, and everything, and what he's gonna try and do is he's gonna offer you a couple of things, especially you so-called black women. He's gonna tell you straight up, you're not gonna continue to be able to get your benefits monthly, your food stamps, your section eight, and all this other stuff, unless you come sign up. They gonna want you to come, bring those damn kids, and if you can, talk your stupid ass baby daddy into it. And you, Jake, <laughs> you think child support hitting you over the head right now? You wait until the so-called white man is able to just go in, go into your damn chip in your ass and deduct what he wanted to deduct from you. Think about that for a second. See, see, Jake able to go out here and, and, and get a job under the under the table, but that under the table shit not gonna be working no more because it's not that cash is gonna be out of here. They're gonna know exactly what you made, when you made it, when you spent it, what you bought. They're gonna know when you left that location back to your damn house, man. So all them drug dealers, all that I got stacked under the bed mattress, all that I got some money in the backyard, that shit ain't gonna be worth nothing, man. When, once this man digitalized things, man. That's what they talking about with this new CBDC that they just dropped on Thursday. It's already in play, it's already in play. They just gonna next step it, man. But he's gonna tell you first off that it's for the betterment of your life. But get that start that back again out. Verse 11. Though he humble himself. He humble himself. And go crouching. He go crouching. Yeah, take good heed. That's a commandment right there. Take good heed of this man. Go ahead. And be well of him. You have to beware of this man. Go ahead. And those and those shall be unto him as 
if thou has wiped a looking glass. You wipe that looking glass. That, that, that glass is dirty. Now you can clearly see. And thou shalt hate, shall not, shall know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. You're going to see what it is. You're going to see what it is. This man is going to show you exactly how he gets down, man. Because he's going to humble himself at first. You're going to be like, damn. Hey, see, that's, that's, his, that's his, his playbook. He gathers your trust. That's the reason why so many of all people are walking around here right now. They'll run up on, on us and get to arguing with us and want to fight with us because the so-called white man is not going to be saved. That's that part of that playbook that he, he has basically slithered his way in and snuck you into thinking that he's the nice guy. See? See that? Yeah, meet them ice right now, riding through the hood like they just in the hood. You know, look at us. We got on a fitted cap too. I got on some Jordans. We'll party y'all. They'll slip right in and, and next thing you know, they, as a matter of fact, that's what they done. Look, look, look at the rap world now. Your top artists is some of them clowns. <laughs> they slip in, they learn Jake ways. You know, they watch Jake, how he bop. You know what I'm saying? How he step. And then next thing you know, he, he done threw on some, uh, uh, a couple of chains around his damn neck, a couple of rings on his finger. You know what I'm saying? With, with some Tim's on, and he done took your position. That's why that scripture talks about, uh, matter of fact, look, look, go ahead, I slot. I Verse just, 12. I was just about to come out of it, but go Set ahead. Set him not by, by thee. Set him not by thee. Set the so, hey, don't, don't set your enemy by thee. That goes for them so-called Chinese people too. Them so-called Chinese people, man, hey, they, they'll break dance, chop it up, pop, whatever. Hey, you already know they are expert bootleggers, man. All these nations get down on Jake like that. You create something, they get paid. <laughs> Go ahead, I. When he have overthrown thee, he, st he stand up in thy place. He go, when he overthrow you, he gonna stand up in your place. Go ahead. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. Don't let him sit by you, man. No, hey, leave, keep, keep a distance. You know, the scripture talks about if it's at all possible to be at peace with all men. I can be at peace with you from a distance. I don't need you around me listening and, 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 and to inside stuff with my, my inner circle. You keep your ass over there. Go ahead, huh? DC seek. DC seek to take thy seat. And that's what they do. They, they, he, see, right now Esau is looking to take the seat of Jacob, and, and, and he wants to be implanted into the situation of, of this salvation to come for the children of Israel. This is what he's trying to do right now. Go ahead, huh? And though at, at the at the last remember. My word. You're going to remember when it happens. That's why the Lord say to take good heed. Because it's going to be too late once he done already slipped in and done his thing. You're going to be looking like, oh, man, I should have listened. Go ahead, Ock. And be prick therewith. You're going to be prick, man, with the words of the Lord, man. Like, dang, the Lord, I, I was told that. I was told that. But Jake don't get it. I was just looking at the brothers downtown. We got the GMS Detroit camp downtown. I was watching them. They're live before I came to camp. You got some nigga, man. I, boy, he walks up. There's no such thing as slavery. We never went into slavery. I'm talking about these damn Africans. You niggas running around talking about you African. You, you can't even say what. Jake can't even name five countries in Africa. Matter of fact, Jake don't even know that Africa's not a country. Jake don't know that Africa is a continent with 54 countries in it. That nigga talking about African. With some old Egyptian symbol around their damn neck with a tattoo of Cyrus or something. You know, just weirdos, man. And the Lord gonna show y'all. The Lord is about to, hey, that, that's what all I was thinking about when I was watching that video. It's kind of pissed me off, but at the same time, too, Hey, there's coming a point where the brothers are not going to be out here doing what we're doing. You're not going to be able to hear about the scriptures. You're not going to be able to, uh, where them guys at? Where them dudes at? What was that name they was calling on? What were they saying? You're not going to be able to hear. And it's going to be too damn late. And, 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 and it's coming to a point where it's going to be too late. You have an opportunity to hear the gospel right now. And you're running around out here talking about 
bullshit that don't even matter. And it's gonna hit Jake so hard, bro. It's gonna hit Jake like a ton of bricks, man, and it's gonna be too late for your ass. And you know what, it's kinda like, we're saddening by it, but at the same time too, I be thinking like, I can't fucking wait. I can't wait, you hard head niggas. I can't wait to the Lord unleash these same people on you that you feel like it's your fucking friends, man. These people are about to, the Lord gonna let them loose and show you how, how they really get down. That's why it says, though he go crouching, yet take good heed of him. Cause he's gonna, he's gonna show you fully his true colors, man, in a minute. That's why that Revelation 12 and 12 talks about he know that he, he's coming down with great wrath because he know that he had but a short time. Go ahead, no op. Who will pity a charmer? We ain't gonna pity your ass, man. Go ahead. That is fit with, with a serpent. We're not gonna pity you when everything gets to going down because we done told you. Go ahead. Or any such as come now, wild beast. We not gonna pity you, bro. We telling you this man the damn serpent. The scriptures is clearly telling you he's the damn serpent, bro. He's wicked as hell. His track record proves it. And you still running around out here talking about how uh, uh, the, 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 the white man can't be saved? What do you mean? We all Christians. We all, we all one race, the human race with that dumb shit, man. The Lord didn't choose every race of people, man. He chose one race. And the, the, the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you don't want it. You don't want to be the greatest. You don't want to be a, 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 a peculiar treasure to you. How about see me? I was shy. You want to go and serve the soul. You want to go serve every damn body but the Lord. And you got Jake out here just, how you, how you a nigga, a, a, a Buddhist, man? How you a Buddhist as a Negro? You, I, that just showed Jake through, man. Matter of fact, let's get that, uh, is that Jeremiah 20? Is it Jeremiah 13? Oh, Salakia, man. I be having to calm down, man. I be feeling my pressure. My pressure be going, blood pressure be, you know, just be thinking about some of this shit, man. Sick of Jake, man. The world gonna be a better place when nigger, when niggerism is, is, is done away with. Cause that need to be done away with just like Esau shit need to be done away with. The damn niggers. That's right. I was just out here, I was just riding the camp. And these chicks out here, the nigga woman out here on the damn street with signs up twerking, talking about a damn car wash. Bring on my car, don't let your ass wash no damn car, moms. I'm just looking at it. And nobody's stopping, man. And, and you know what I started to notice was? Was you can see the disgust on niggas' faces, man. Because a lot of Jake is waking up to just, it's just, your niggas is just disgusting, man. You're a bad look, man. You make us look like nothing, man. That's right. Oh, that goddamn twerk, that shit over with, man. It's over with. Jake started, people starting to really realize, hey, y'all need to just go chill. Go, go fucking somewhere and learn how to cook something, man. Go wash the clothes. Go clean up the house, man. When's the last time you wiped the damn window? The window seals. Old ass spider webs and flies and shit all caught up. Like go 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 do go do house shit, man. Keep a good house. It's the last time you cooked a damn meal for your man. Or even for your children for that matter, man. Because most of you single. What is it looking like? Hey out there, just music loud as hell, bouncing, just ah. Keep the stank box in yourself, man. Jake through, man. Because our people love wickedness. I mean, niggas just don't like nothing about. They, they, they hate discipline, man. That's right. Yeah, uh, uh, Jeremiah 13 and 23. Uh, here you go. This man showing you how wicked he is, man, on a day-to-day -day basis. And Jake don't be paying no uh, attention. He just, it's like... Just life as usual, man. And, and, and we're going to this birthday party. And just like the lady out here in Houston, you can't go nowhere. <laughs> Motherfuckers out here in the damn park. Here you go in a public park. You can't go to a public park and post up and chill, have a good time without having a damn shootout. You know the one, the only person that got killed was the pregnant nigga woman. 
couple other people got shot, but the pregnant nigga woman that had nothing to do with it, basically, she the one that's deleted. And they let you know that's judgment from your homo shit me on the side, man. And I'm gonna tell you another thing too. You women that's running around out here with these goddamn kids, you got these kids by another nigga, but you got another nigga thinking that they've been their kids all along. The Lord gonna judge you, man. And a, right. and a lot of the times, that be what be what that be judgment. Here you go, she pregnant by another nigga, but she fronting like it's this nigga right here. After she don't stepped out on her man, being nasty as hell. And the Lord just knocked her ass off and that baby. And that happened to King David too. King David and Beersheba. That very first baby when David knocked her up, because David was being, man, that, that was some wicked shit David done. But the Lord killed that baby. That very first baby. And there's scriptures that talks about um, you women bringing um, these adulterous ass babies into this world, man. You with a man. Here you go, motherfucking kid, 12, 13, 14 years old, and you wonder why they can catch a damn straight bullet just out of nowhere in their bedroom and knock their asses off. That be judgment from the Lord, man. Because see, a lot of people, they don't know the backdrop of what's really going on. They're just like, oh, I can't believe it. Oh. It's like the 10-year-old little girl, she dies at motherfucking cheerleader practice. Oh, just, just, I... And out there, and you know, I can't believe it. This is so hard. <laughs> she could have been one of those damn adulterous ass babies, man. Go ahead, I. Jeremiah 13, verse 10. This evil people which refuse to hear my word. No, Jeremiah 12, no, no. And, uh, 23. Jeremiah 13 and 23, it's a lot. Yeah. Because Esau going to be wicked. You're not going to change that fucker up. Can the, Ethiopia, can the Ethiopians change his skin or the... And you niggas running around out here. As a matter of fact, they just celebrated what, um, um, over in Jamaica, Selassie. They do the Rastafarians. Believe that that nigga was the Christ that came through. They celebrated his 113th birthday the other day. Here you go, you out here, you worshiping a damn Ethiopian man. You Negroes not Ethiopian. You're not Ethiopians, man. Go ahead, though. <laughs> I mean, damn. Oh, the leopard. His, his, his spots. The leopard can't change his spots. The Ethiopian can't change their skin. Go ahead. Then, then may ye also do good that are accustomed to look, to do evil. So the so-called white man, just like the Ethiopian can't change his skin, just like the, 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 the Le leper can't change his spot, the so-called white man cannot do good. He was created that way, man. And you, Jake, y'all, hey, I'm telling you, keep on, just keep it up, keep on trusting in this man. Because you are breaking a direct commandment by trusting him. And Jake gonna run right out here and, and, and poke them hands out I was just looking at the article yesterday. I never did do the lesson last night. My damn phone acting up. But anyway, you got the UN. You know, and a lot of these, um, they're talking about basically with the FDA that gave Elon Musk the approval to put this damn chip into people. And they're talking about how this motherfucker can basically mind control people. When I was talking about, hey, you better watch, you watch that Manchuria Candidate movie, man, with um, Denzel Washington. A little similar, but you know, you get what I'm saying, where they, 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 these motherfuckers will have total mind control over you. Where they can just blink your system out and have your ass just out here doing what they want you to do. Everybody in a uniform line, wearing the same damn clothes, looking stupid as hell, turning, tur looking like you had to turn your ass into a damn robot, man. This wicked man is not gonna stop, man. Matter of fact, it's that uh that scripture we're talking about. Who can make what's crooked straight? Yeah, Ecclesiastes 115, uh. Ooh, 
that's another one too. Yo, Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. She have built an everlasting foundation. No, Ecclesiastes. What you call? Wing gun style here. Slash me. Ecclesiastes 115. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. Go ahead. And that which is wanting cannot be numbered. What the point of that scripture is, is what the Lord made crooked, you can't make straight, man. That man was designed put together purposely by the Lord to be the wicked. That, I mean, it just is what it is. This man is just like toilet paper. Once you, you do what you do with the toilet paper, you throw it, you're not going to save that shit. You're not trying to, you know, well, let me just sit this to the side. No, you're going to put it in the toilet, you're going to flush it. That's the use of it. That's what it was for. And it's the same way with the so-called white man. The Lord is going to dispose of this guy just like toilet paper, man. Once the job is done, he's just doing the job that he was meant to do, was designed and created to do. Let's get um the one in um, Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. Same book, Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 14. Consider the work of Yahweh. Consider the work, man, of Yahweh, man. This is some. This is the work that the Lord put together. It's just like the sun He created. Just like all the things that He created, man. This is the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Well, who can make it? Make that straight, which He have made crooked. You can't straighten nothing up that the Lord made crooked, man. And that's hey, that's another thing too with this with this truth. Well, Jake passing by, just you know, flowing by, and they just you know they you know they scoffing, they mocking, they don't want to hear the scriptures. Hey, the Lord designed them that way. You can't argue with these people. You gotta let let them. Hey, just go ahead and let them just be wicked as hell. That's what the brothers are talking. About. A lot of brothers been going into that as of late, man. Let the wicked be wicked. There you go. You got these guys. They was out here. I don't know even know what city it was. It vexed me so much. I could barely watch the damn video. But you know, I think it was um. I can't think of that one camp. It's a Dallas camp, though. They're not GMS, but they they, they teach like um, GMS, if I'm not mistaken. But you know, it's a bunch of damn niggas, man. Got here, hair all done, makeup on, and, 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 and the load, and the look. No, man, the Lord gonna destroy your ass. They all in the background twerking niggas, man. Group of, like a group of them. That's scary, bro. Like, I'm talking about real life. I'm talking about when I say... Women don't act like the way these niggas be acting, man. They they take that womanly shit a whole extra yard, man. No, if they was if they was the camp was out there, and, and, and you had a bunch of uh, uh, transformers oh. with booty shorts and shit on, twerking and shit, talking about how the Lord loves them. The Lord don't love you. One of them actually admitted that he knew that it was an abomination, but he was still with it, though. That's that spirit, man. But hey, the Lord, matter of fact, let's go into um, Romans 1, chapter 1. But the Lord would, hey, the Lord will give your ass that reprobate mind, man. This man, I'm, hey, man, look, I'm praying to y'all about Shemel Shot for real, man, to not ever go back into the world of what I was doing before. Hey, look, man, you better pray to y'all about Shemel Shot for mercy, man, because he can send you back into that world. And them damn seven, hey, them, them seven extra spirits jump on your ass. And you'll be out here bugged all out your mind. For real, for real. Yeah, I'll be um, about first 20, maybe 20, 23 or so. Um, Let's start at 18. We might as well start from there. 
Let me see what we looking like on the camera work. It's lucky we be having to check the camera. We done had a couple of uh, malfunctions the past couple of weeks. Romans 1 verse 18. For the wrath of Yahweh is relevant. Is revealed. Revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. Yep. And unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Yep. And in the NLT it says, but God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. And that's what our people do. They are suppress the truth. They'll actually, you got Jake trying to incorporate transform, transform life into the scriptures. They actually got churches, man. Go ahead, O'A. Because that which is which may be known of, of Yahweh is manifest in them. For Yahweh have showed it unto them. Yep. And in, in, in NLT it says they know the truth about Yahweh because he has moved, he has made it obvious to them. You can't say that there's not no power, man. Look at this stuff, man. Look at the skies, man. Look at the just look at the creation. You can't say that there's not no no power, man, that done that. Because Jake, deep down, Jake, no, man. Because our people are spiritual people, but you know, you got Jake running around talking about they atheists. Never used to hear that man growing up when I was growing up anyway. You hear about no Jake talking about I'm a damn atheist, I don't believe in God. You might have had one or two, you know, little, oh, well, this happened to me, this happened to me, this happened to me. Well, how can there be a God? You know, you got the niggas that, but they don't understand judgment. That's why the scripture says evil, evil men do not understand judgment, roughly paraphrasing. They don't understand why the Lord will judge you, man. They don't understand why the Lord can, can kill a pregnant woman. Because it's him that's doing it. Go ahead, though, Op. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world. The invisible things from the creation of the world, go ahead. Are clearly seen. They're clearly seen. They're clearly seen. You able to breathe air. Your heart beating, you can see. Yo, but I mean, when you just think about the body, man. Just, I mean, just something as simple as your hand with five fingers on it. If you lose that goddamn thumb, it's hard to grip something. You know, you lose a toe, a big toe, it's hard to run. <laughs> you know, for damn sure, if you lose your heart, your ass out of here. Blood flowing through your vest. I mean, just stuff like that, man. You can, you can look at animals, you can look at damn crickets, birds, ants, you name it, man. You just be looking like, damn, something some created that. Go ahead, though, Ock. Being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So they don't have no excuse. Let me get that in the NLT, the New Living Translation. It says, forever since... The world was created. People have seen the earth and sky through everything Yahweh made. They can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power, divine nature, so they have no excuse for not knowing Yahweh. They ain't gonna, hey, Jake don't have no, no excuse, man. Go ahead, I. Because that when they know Yahweh, they glorify him not. So they know Yahweh. They don't glorify him, no. Go ahead. As Yahweh, neither were thankful, but became vain in their in, 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 in imagination. They came vain. They became vain in their imagination. That's Jake, man. And their foolish hearts was darkened. So the Lord, hey, hey the Lord will give you up, man, to, to make you think that. You, as a matter of fact, that's the craziest part too. He'll make you think that you're right while being wrong as hell. In the NLT on that, it says, yes, they knew Yahweh, but they worship, but would, but they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they began to think up foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused. And that's the reason why you see a lot of Jake out here bugged all out, man. Jake bugged the hell all out out here. Go ahead, Ock. Since they became fools 
professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And you and all, hey, Jake could give you all kind all manner of foolishness, man, when you you you, you conversing with them. You can have a better conversation with an atheist than you can, especially with a nigga Christian. You come across one of these Christians that's tap dancing down the floor, talking about the Holy Spirit hit me. You, you can have a better conversation with a so-called white man that don't even believe in the power than one of them, man. Go ahead, huh? I'm corruptible. You know how I into a, a imagine made yeah. like the corrupt, corruptible men and two birds and four, four footed beasts and creeping things. That's the reason why you see all these damn emblems. All these statues, all these, you'll see, especially Northern Kingdom with the rosary beads and shit. You know, they got the candles and shit burning all throughout the house with a picture of uh, Caesar Borgia all throughout the crib. You know, Jake out here with, you know, and Jake and the witchcraft and all kinds of shit. Sacrificing shit. Out here cutting off the heads of birds. Uh, it's just wickedness, man. Go ahead, I. Uh. Wherefore Yahweh also gave This is the point this is the point coming up though. Wherefore Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanliness. The Lord gave them up to uncleanliness. Uncleanliness, man. Uncleanliness. Go ahead, I. Huh? Through the lust of their own hearts. Through the lust of their own hearts. To dishonor their own bodies. Between themselves. Hey. The Lord will give you up to, to, to destroy yourself. Because without Yahweh. You are destroyed. There's no way to live without Yahweh by Shibia was shot. You're through. There's a bunch of people out here, man. They, 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 they riding the boat, but they're dead. They have no idea what's to come. Go ahead, no I. Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worship and serve the creatures more than the creator? And that's what Jay do. Jacob, sir, hey, they love the cre the, the creation, but they don't think about the creator that created it. Go ahead, I. Who is blessed forever? Amen. Yup. For this, for this cause, Yahweh gave them up to unto vile affliction. Affection. So the Lord gave them up to vile affection. The Lord can set you up beautifully to fall, man. You see how he done a hop? That story about a high man, where he set him up, man, that's beautiful. Can't get around it, man. Go ahead, I. For even their women did change the nature, use, the natural use into, the, into that which is against nature. And then the woman that changed, hey, the woman out here, she, hey, yo, Rizzle, yay, hey, what, what, what up? You know, you know, walking around with that, you know. Niggas don't even really act like that, man. Grabbing on their crouch like they got something there. You see what I'm saying? They shooting out of cars. You know, now they running the basketball court trying to dunk and shit, looking weird as hell. You know what I'm saying? Now they get now, now they, the scripture talks about uh, 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 a time that the women would compass a man. You got women out here raising these effeminate ass dudes, man, and they just out here hardcore, just thug. Go ahead, I. And likewise, also the men, leaving the nature of the woman. And also the men, and they leaving the natural use of the woman. Here you go, you got men out here, just straight up. <laughs> hey, and, and matter of fact, they really believe that they are actually women. Which lets you know that's a spirit on them, man. That's a demon on them. And the Lord... Gave them over to vile affection, man. That's scary. The Lord can actually push you into a, 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 a situation of complete destruction. When you don't self-destruct because you're so goddamn smart. You're so smart. That's why, why you can't tell Jake a lot of stuff. Because they done went and they done been indoctrinated by the so-called white man and his educational system. Yeah, motherfucker can tell y'all I got a doctorate, I got a PA, I got a BA, I got all these different letters on the back of their name. And, 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 and by them having that, going to the so-called white man's school, they can't hear the sinfulness of the gospel, man. 
That's why the Lord said he would send babes out. That's why you don't see a whole bunch of, um, you don't see no, no, none of these so-called wise professors. No damn Dr. Umar, you know. You ain't about to see no damn Oprah or Jordan or LeBron or, you know. You, you ain't gonna see them. The Lord uses regular men to just come out and teach the gospel, man. All right, now. That's pretty much, let me see though. Let's get that, uh, let's get that. I wanted to go up to Ahab, man. The, the example of Ahab, man. I think that's First Kings. Cause he was wicked as hell too. He's a wicked ass king. First Kings 22 and yeah, 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 yeah. Let's start at uh, 22. First Kings 22 and let's start at about 19. First Kings 22 verse 19. And he said, he said, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on, on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. So the point, the Lord had the host of heaven on his right hand and on his left hand, which means that the Lord, and he deals with the right and left because the Lord created good and evil. As a matter of fact, let's hold on right there, I believe we grab, um, let's go into the apocrypha real quick because a lot of people don't know that the Lord, he he's he controls both sides of things. The wicked and evil, man. And good. The righteous and unrighteous, man. The yeah, scripture says made, that... Made, made people think that Satan can battle the most high. Satan is the employee of the most high. Yup. But hey, that, that's Christianity for you, though. And I was just looking up earlier, because I... <laughs> like, how much does it cost to go to Bible school or seminary school? Hey, uh, People be going to them schools, man, and paying thousands and thousands of dollars to learn nothing, man. A complete damn lie. But this is um, Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach. I'm going to start there. Let me get verse 13. It says, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as like of them best. Good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High and there are two and two, one against another. So the Lord created a left, he created a right. He created the wicked, he created the good. He created the unrighteous, the unrighteous and the righteous. The scripture says that the seed and the deceiver are his. Matter of fact, the scripture says that he created the, the wicked for the day of evil. So the Christian church, they don't bring those things out. That's why a lot of the times our people don't have a healthy um, fear of the Lord. Because with white Jesus, it gives them that sense of, I can do what I want to do, and I'm still saved. That's why our people love white Jesus Christianity, because it's easy. See, with this truth, it's work to it. It's discipline. You have to, you have to actually work towards, you know what I'm saying, something, man. You see what I'm saying? But go, but go ahead, though, I, you know, where you was at. Verse 20. And the Lord said, Who shall pursue? Persuade. Persuade. Uh -huh. So the Lord is asking these angels on the right hand side and left hand side, Who will persuade? Aha. Uh -huh. Go ahead. That he may go up and fall at Ramoth Galiad. Ramoth Galiad. So the Lord is like, Hey, who going to persuade him? To fall. The Lord is setting them up to die. <laughs> See? So when people, when you look at the news and you hear like such and such happened to such and such, the Lord had a council basically, man, and set that up where that shit went down the exact way that you heard it on the news. With perfect detail. That's how cold the Lord is, man. With perfect detail. Because when you look at some of this stuff that be happening to people, it's got to be accurately calculated man that person had to have woken up at the perfect time in the morning he had to have went to sleep at the perfect time 
I mean, the nigga go back to when he was born. He went through everything that he went through throughout his life to get hit by a goddamn car at 30. That's cold calculated. <laughs> That's cold calculated. Straight up. Go ahead, no op. And one one said on on this matter. Yep. And another said on that matter. So one angel said this, one angel said that. Go ahead, I. And the Lord said unto you, Where will and he said No no you, uh, uh uh start back at twenty one again? Oh excuse sorry, he's lucky. And there came forth a spirit. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord. Alright now. It stood before the Lord and said, I will pursue him. Persuade him. So, so you got this one angel. He's like, hey, I got something, Lord. I got something we can do. Then go ahead. And the Lord said unto him, Where will? So the Lord is like, how you gonna do it? What you got? What you got, buddy? What this guy man. Jake. Flip flops on. <laughs> oh my man. Boy, I told you, man. Anyway, let me chill. I guess they never want to ride your loud ass mini bike with some flip flops on. Go ahead, I. And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. So see that? This angel said, I will go forth and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. You ain't never heard that in the church before. So the Lord is dealing with an angel that will go and make another person lie? You don't hear about stuff like that in Christianity. Because see, white Jesus Christianity, they ain't the people they pick and choose. Like, I'm oh, not my God. Uh-uh, that can't be. You get to go on going into some of these stories, man, and how the Lord really gets down and some of the stuff that's really in the scriptures. These Christians, man, they'll back all the way down like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we don't bring up, they ain't, they, we, they ain't necessary, we bring that up. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I was just reading in Exodus today. Jake riding hand in hand with the Edomite. They might as well have just been holding hands. <laughs> hand in hand with the Edomite on the motorcycle. Death angels on the back of the best. You know how to get down. But anyway. I was just reading in the scriptures today in Exodus that Moses and Levi was uh, with Moses and on Aaron's lock you. They mom basically, let me see. They dad married their father's sister, and that's how they was born. Now that'll bug a lot of Christians. Oh, because basically their mom is their mom and auntie. Moses. Yeah, the one that, that came down from the mountain gave them the Ten, the Ten Commandments. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of stuff, when you, you know, a lot of, they don't want to bring out the, 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 the uncomfortable stuff of the scriptures, I would say. Because see what a lot of people don't know, our forefather Abraham and, and, and our foremother Sarah, they was actually brothers and sisters. They was brothers and sisters. They had the same dad. But that's a part of the scriptures. Now, once Moses came down with the law, or the Lord gave a list of things, we're not supposed to do that. Don't do that. But before that, you know, we didn't have the, the law, statutes, and commandments. So we was kind of living, because you know, Abraham, his, his father, our forefather, Abraham's father, he was in the wickedness. He, he was an idol worshiper. That's the reason why the Lord told Abraham to get up out of his father's land or get away from his father's house and go into this other land. And that's when the Lord set us up. And that's where you get the children of Israel. See, when you go through the scriptures, it's all about the children of Israel. But Christianity with white Jesus, they telling you that, oh, it's not about the Israelites no more. It's about everybody else now. And what do they call that? Replacement theology. You see? Well, what else we had on that? Right? That was uh. But basically, I wanted to make the point that the Lord set a hob up to basically die. And 
and you can go through the rest of the story and you can see how he got caught up. <laughs> Lord said he was real nice, man. But hey, like I said again, let's get um let's get Amos three and six. Let's grab a couple of those 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 scriptures that really they just don't come out in the Christian church, man. See, you have to understand that the power that we're dealing with is a, a, a jealous power. The scriptures actually said that it's a terrible thing to fall into the hand of the living God. You don't want to, you don't want no, you don't want no smoke with the Lord, man, at all. Because you're not gonna win. You're not capable of winning. You you have no nothing, man. <laughs> nothing. Go ahead, though, Verse 3, Amos, verse 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord has not done it? See that? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord ain't done it? And the Lord, the Lord is the one that, that sends a mudslide, an earthquake, a tsunami, a damn tornado, a house fire, a damn shootout. That's the Lord, man. Judgment, pure judgment, man. Let's see where we at? Oh, well, she's still rolling. We still rolling. Well, let's get uh, let's get that Isaiah forty-five and seven. And man, hey, the Lord is really judging our people out here too. We're right now. Hey, hey. Want to know what's going on, brother? We reading the Bible, man. We the Hebrew Israelites. It's time to repent. We in them last days, brother. You got to repent, bro. Anyway, let's go ahead. Right? <laughs> Isaiah uh, 45, verse 7. I form the light. The Lord formed the light. And create dark. He created the darkness, too. I make peace and create evil. There you go. <laughs> it's that straight cut. I, the Lord, do all these things. He created peace and evil. He's the one that's doing it all. He's the one, man. Let's get that Deuteronomy 32 and 39. And these are basic scriptures. You know, when I first came in, it's true. I was like, oh, wow. I never heard them before. Never heard these scriptures before, man. And if these scriptures was taught in the Christian church, basically they would run a lot of people away. But... The people that stick around and stay, they will have a healthy fear, a healthier fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead, I'm there. Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So yeah, that's clear cut. The Lord said he's the one that killed and he's the one that make a lot. Matter of fact, he said that he wounds and he heals. So if you see a person, you know, broke a leg or they just in a wheelchair or if they, you know, got an ailment, so to speak, you know, that's all the Lord. How about Shimmy I was shy, man? Heart failure, lung need a kidney, all this shit. That's the Lord. That's the Lord, man. It's nothing for the Lord to, to heal you up, man. But he's the one that does the wounding. He's the one that does the healing if he wants you healed. But if he wants your ass dead, it's through. And it says no one can get you out of his hand. And that's powerful, man. Let's get to 1 Samuel 2 and 6. Uh. We're going to get ready to close out in a little bit here too anyway. But we just wanted to bring out some of these scriptures, man. Probably at the top of the I don't know how that's set up though. 
first down. Yep. Two, two and six. Over. First sample, two, verse six. Yup. The Lord kill us and make us alive. See that? Now I wanted to go up into this one because I had seen um, it was a camp and they was trying to explain to this lady that the Lord is the one that kills people. And she was like, uh-uh, not my Lord. She said that Deuteronomy 32 and 39 we just read was basically, I think she said that that was, um, that was being spoken of as that being Satan. But the Lord is the one that kills and makes alive. Satan is just an employee for the Lord. Satan is just not out here doing what he wants to do on his own. It's the Lord that sends forth evil angels or evil spirits to go forth and, and do his bidding. Let's start that back. Go ahead and get that again. The Lord killeth. The Lord killeth. And maketh alive. The Lord killeth and he make alive. He break. He he bring bring him. He bring him down the, the grave. He bring it down to the grave. And bring him up. And he bring it up. He makes people rich. He makes people poor. He makes people sick. He make he heals them. It's the Lord that's doing all that stuff. Can't get around it. Satan is not just running rampant through the earth, just doing what he wants to do. Matter of fact, let's get um Job 5 and 8. Job chapter 5, verse 8. No, 18, it's like it. Verse 18. Yep. For to make it sure. For he make it sore. This is talking about the Lord. He's the one that makes sore. And write him up. And he bindeth up. He woundeth he, and he wounded. And his hands make whole. And his hands make whole. You can't get around it. It's all the Lord. So when you see children dying. That's the Lord killing them. You see people going hungry, that's the Lord making them go hungry. You see? Well, just like you see us in poverty at the bottom, that's because the Lord, we broke, yep. we broke, we, we, didn't, we didn't cover the cover. We yep. stopped following, stopped following these wicked ass other, other nations in their ways. Yep. That's why we had so the Lord, Yep, the Lord sent us into slavery as a people. And he's going to bring us out of this slavery. The same way he brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, he's going to bring the children of Israel out of America. Because America is modern day Egypt. All right now. So he's going to take us out of the hands of our enemies. That's what the, that's what the gospel is really about. That's right. The gospel is not to these other nations, man. These nations, they have us in captivity. They're the ones in our neighborhood selling us all kinds of crap. They're the ones that, that, that that's lending up the money if you're trying to get a bank loan. They're the ones that you got to go to for a house or a car. You want to send your kids to school, you got to go through their curriculum. You want to become a plumber, a, a hairdresser, a barber, anything, you got to go to them for a license. Because this is their kingdom. They're running things. They tell you so-called blacks that if you don't bring your children to my schools and let me indoctrinate them, we'll send the people through to take your kids out of your house. And you Negroes have no might to stop you. That white man can send the military through to your house if you get out of hand. Why? Because this is his, this is his, his kingdom. You're in captivity. And Negroes don't understand that. Negroes really think they free in America. They actually think they're Americans. You wouldn't be able to call yourself an American and have them crackers not come over there and taking our ancestors on them boats. You wouldn't be able to call yourself no damn American. And the Lord about to show our people how these people about to, they about to get down on Negroes. You wait till Jacob's trouble start. Wait until Jacob's trouble start and see how these white folk get down on you. Well, you thinking they're your friends. Friends don't put you in neighborhoods that look like this. Look at this place. This place is trash, man. Niggas walking around talking to themselves. Bugged all out. The women all out here with their ass cheeks out. 
That's a creation of the white man for you. These niggas that you see, you can thank the white man for them. If you got any problems with crime, because the so-called white man is the original nigga, niggas learned what they learned from that cracker, and they just turned it up and, 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 and perfected it. That's right. Being in these Americas, man. That's what happened to us as a people. And it comes from us disobeying the Lord. So let's get our clothes out, though. Right? Let's go to um, Reven, um, um, Romans 13. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> here comes little mama on the block. Little mama. I ain't seen her in a minute. See you. See you. <laughs> see you walk by. See you walk by us in a minute. Yeah, let's get that, uh, that, that Romans 13 out. Romans 13 verse 11. Yep. At that knowing, that, that knowing the time, that, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Now it's high time to awake out of this sleep that we in, man, as a people. Go ahead. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Hey, you best believe. Hey, we, we have to bring up the Lord cracking up skies, man. You better repent. Because we're about there. Straight up. Go ahead, huh? <laughs> Might have been a need of might, I don't know. You know, they be down through here like they they, they from here. You you can bump him, dog. Go ahead, Verse 12. The yeah. night is far spent. The, the night is far, yep, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off. The works of darkness. You gotta cast off the works of darkness, man. It's wickedness, it's evilness. And our people are, are so in darkness, they don't even know they're in darkness. Take stumbling around on, you know, reaching, but they don't even understand it, bro. That is scary. Go ahead, huh? And let us put on the armor of light. You put on that armor of light, man, by repenting to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh's side, and coming into these scriptures, man. Coming back into this truth. Now we're not perfected yet, you know what I'm saying? But hey, we're trying. We're trying, man. We're not saved by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments like that. It's all about grace and faith. But at the same time, too, you can't just be wicked as hell, man. You have to be trying. Why would you come into the that lets you know how backwards white Jesus Christianity is, where they telling you he died for you to act a goddamn fool. But well, the Lord got us covered. We can act a fool now. That don't even make no sense. That don't make no sense at all. None. That's like somebody, they, they know you done the crime. They're like, hey, look, bro, I know you got them three strikes. You know what I'm saying? If you get this third strike, your ass is through. I'll take the L for you. They go and do the little time for you. And then while they in there doing the time, this motherfucker, he, he's a, a jailmate over from you because he done fucked up again. Like, what well, damn, dog? I done what I done, so you wouldn't have to come here. Now here you go, we sharing lunch together. Come up out here to play, you know, just shooting the basketball around. No, nah, man, the Lord didn't come here and died and went through what he went through for you to be out here acting a goddamn fool, man. You have an opportunity while this door of grace is open to repent. And if you don't, you're gonna be destroyed. You're gonna be destroyed. Ain't no way around it, man. You know, hey, we, hey, again, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you are the Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. It is high time to awake out of sleep and repent. That's the basis of the Gospels, that the kingdom is at hand. There's nothing real hard about it. Nothing real hard about it, man. You just have to separate from that white Jesus Christianity part of it. Because <laughs> Jake be knowing some scriptures, but they really believe that everybody is going to be saved, man. That this truth is for everybody, and it's not. The Lord only made his covenant with the children of Israel. So with that, we're just going to, you know, close out by saying, Go on, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadosh. And double honors again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. We just want to say, Kawada to all the Akim and Akwap again, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Of y'all about Shimmy I was shy to the best of their ability, you know, um doing certain things for the brothers, you know, the the, the, the young ladies that's into this troop as well.
you know, because we, we don't mention y'all a lot. We know that there's a few of y'all that's out there. But hey, the water for everything that y'all be doing for the brothers, because I know some sisters, they be doing garments, and, and you know, helping out financially and things like that. So hey, the, the water, man. And hey, we almost out of here. We all we had. You know what I'm saying? So with that, Shalom. Shalom.